ever found yourself in a constant struggle with recurring negative thoughts or destructive mental patterns. Imagine being stuck in a dark labyrinth, each twist and turn leading you deeper into the maze, spiraling into a vortex of despair and hopelessness. This labyrinth is not made of stone or wood, but of your own thoughts, woven into a tapestry of fear, anxiety, and self-doubt. It's a struggle we all face, and it's a struggle that can feel insurmountable. Negative thought patterns, those destructive mental loops that play on repeat in our minds, are more common than you might think. Millions around the globe are trapped within these mental mazes, their lives dictated by the echo of their own doubts. These thoughts not only affect our mood and self-perception, but they can also lead to serious physical health problems, like heart, disease, and a weakened immune system. But why are we talking about this? Why delve into the dark corners of our minds, exploring the shadows that lurk within? Because understanding is the first step toward healing. By acknowledging the presence and power of these negative thought patterns, we can begin to dismantle them, brick by brick, thought by thought. In this video, we're not just going to talk about the problem, we're going to delve into solutions, exploring techniques and strategies that can help you break free from the labyrinth of negativity. You already possess the power to change your thoughts and thus change your world. We're here to help you unlock that power. But remember, change is a journey, not a destination. It's a process that requires patience, persistence, and most importantly, belief in oneself. It won't happen overnight, and it won't be easy, but the reward, a life free from the clutches of negativity, a life where you are the master of your thoughts and emotions, not their prisoner. Now, allow me to take you on a journey, a journey of transformation. Imagine yourself as a sailor, caught in an unforgiving storm, battling monstrous waves. That's how it feels when negative thoughts consume us. Consider yourself on a small boat, alone in the vast expanse of the sea. Dark clouds gather overhead, and the once calm waters grow choppy and wild. The storm is a metaphor for the turmoil of negative thoughts that often besiege our minds. As the first gusts of wind hit, it's as if a sudden, unexpected negative thought has taken root. It starts to rain, the drops falling like doubts, each one adding weight to your already burdened mind. The waves grow bigger, representing the increasing intensity of these thoughts. They crash against your boat, threatening to capsize it. The fear is palpable, as if each wave is a destructive mental pattern, ready to pull you under. But you, the sailor, are resilient. You refuse to be swallowed by the storm. With every wave that hits, you hold on tighter, steering your boat with determination and grit. This is you standing your ground against the onslaught of negative thoughts. You acknowledge their presence, but you don't let them control you. The storm rages on, but so do you. The wind howls, the rain beats down, but you keep going. You navigate through the tumultuous sea, the way we must navigate through our minds. Each wave you conquer is a negative thought you've overcome. As the storm continues, you start to understand its rhythm, its patterns, just as we learn to understand our destructive mental patterns. You don't fight the storm. Instead, you learn to sail with it, to use its power to propel you forward. This is the journey of overcoming negative thoughts, not by denying them, but by understanding and navigating through them. And just as the sailor must learn to navigate the storm, we too must learn to navigate our minds. But what happens when the storm subsides? The sailor finds tranquility, calmness, a sense of overwhelming peace. Imagine, if you will, a ship caught in a storm. The waves are monstrous, the rain is relentless, the wind is howling. The sailor, much like a person battling with recurring negative thoughts, fights for survival, maneuvering the vessel through the tempest. It's a struggle, a metaphorical war against the elements of the mind, much like the storm. And then the storm passes. The sailor 
drenched but unbroken, watches as the dark clouds recede, revealing a clear, serene sky. The sea, once a raging beast, is now a gentle giant, cradling the ship in its vast, tranquil expanse. This is the calm after the storm. It's not just the absence of turmoil, it's the presence of peace. It's that sigh of relief, that moment when the sailor realizes he's survived. He's weathered the storm, and he's stronger for it. Overcoming negative thoughts is much like navigating through a storm. It requires resilience, perseverance, and a belief that the storm will pass. And when it does, the calmness that follows is a profound liberation. It's a liberation from the chains of fear, from the shackles of self-doubt. In this calmness, there's a realization. The realization that you have the power to control your thoughts, to steer your ship through the stormiest seas. The realization that you're not defined by the storm, but by how you've navigated it. This calmness is not a destination, but a journey. It's a continuous process of self-discovery and self-improvement. It's about realizing that every storm you weather equips you with the skills to face the next one. It's about understanding that the strength to overcome negative thoughts lies within you. Remember, the storm may seem daunting, but it's not invincible. It can be weathered, it can be navigated, and when it passes, when the calmness sets in, you'll find a stronger, more resilient version of yourself. A version that's capable of not just weathering storms, but also of enjoying the calmness that follows. The storm may have been tough, but the calmness that follows is worth every effort. So okay. So how do we navigate this sea of the mind with its storms of negative thoughts? Think of it as sailing. You, the sailor, must learn to control the vessel of your mind. The first step is mindfulness. It's about being present, being aware of the here and now without judgment. It's like keeping your eyes on the horizon, maintaining balance amidst the turmoil. It's not about stopping the waves, but learning how to ride them. Next, consider meditation. It's the anchor that grounds you, holding you steady amidst the storm. It's a moment of silence, a respite from the constant chatter of the mind. It's the practice of focusing your attention and eliminating the stream of jumbled thoughts that may be crowding your mind and causing stress. Now, imagine positive affirmations as the wind in your sails propelling you forward. These are positive statements that can help you overcome self-sabotaging negative thoughts. They inspire self-belief, acting as a compass, guiding you towards a positive mindset. Repeat them daily like a mantra, I'm capable, I'm strong, I'm worthy. Finally, we have cognitive restructuring techniques, the map that helps you chart a new course. These techniques involve challenging negative thought patterns and replacing them with more positive, realistic ones. It's about learning to see the storm for what it is, not a disaster, but a challenge, an opportunity for growth. By combining mindfulness, meditation, positive affirmations, and cognitive restructuring techniques, you can learn how to navigate the stormy sea of your mind. Like any skilled sailor, it takes time, practice, and patience, but the journey is worth it. In the end, you'll find yourself in calmer waters. You'll gain a new perspective, a new understanding of your thoughts and emotions. You'll learn that you are not your thoughts, and most importantly, you are not alone in this journey. Remember, the storm doesn't last forever, and neither do negative thoughts. But sometimes even the most determined sailor needs a guiding light. In the vast ocean of our minds, we are all sailors navigating through the calm and the storm alike. But when the storm of negative thoughts and destructive mental patterns become too overwhelming to weather alone, it's okay to seek a lighthouse, a beacon of hope. Imagine a lighthouse. Standing tall amidst the storm, its light pierces through the darkness guiding lost ships back to safety. This lighthouse is a metaphor for professional help, therapists, counselors, and spiritual healers. They stand as the beacon of hope, illuminating the path towards mental and emotional well-being. 
If you find yourself caught in the tempest of recurring negative thoughts, remember, it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to seek guidance. There's no shame in admitting that the storm is too strong for you to navigate alone. Therapists and counselors are trained to understand the complexities of the human mind. They provide a safe space for you to express your fears, your pain, your worries without judgment. They guide you in understanding your emotions, your triggers, your patterns. They equip you with tools and strategies to manage your thoughts, to navigate your mind, to weather your storms. And the benefits of seeking professional help, they are as vast as the ocean itself. You gain a better understanding of yourself. You learn to control your negative thoughts rather than allowing them to control you. You develop resilience, the ability to bounce back from life's storms stronger and wiser. You begin to see the world not as a constant battlefield, but a place of growth, learning, and healing. The journey towards mental and emotional well-being isn't a solitary one. It's a journey you embark upon with someone who understands, who guides, who lights the way. So, if you find the storm within you raging, if you find the waves of negative thoughts crashing against the ship of your mind, remember, you don't have to navigate through it alone. There's a lighthouse waiting to guide you through the storm. Click the link to book your free 30-minute appointment. Let me be your guiding light through the storm.